So how to measure intelligence? How to measure intelligence? Now, different people have different opinions on what intelligence means for them. You know, some people think of it as like, oh, IQ, you know, school scantron, test exams, or, you know, different measures of intelligence. But actually, let me ask you, how would you measure intelligence if you, if you had to, to give it a measure? What would, you, what would you say when you look at a person or when you see a person uh, in action, how would you measure that intelligence? You know, some people say you can't measure. You know, it's not something that you can measure, that everybody has their different, their own unique intelligence, you know, that it's not something that you can quantify on a level where you say, oh, this person is more intelligent or that person is more intelligent. But I would love to know, you know, in your culture, in your opinion, in your philosophy, what does intelligence mean to you? Oh, I love this. Um, Ivana says, the ability to change. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yes. Uh, Juice Hendrix, by understanding and comprehension. Very interesting, very interesting. Understanding and comprehension. So the ability to understand, the ability to comprehend. Ooh, Haruka. I love it. She says how big the heart is. Yeah, the heart. Come on now. We're getting out of the headspace and into the heart space. I love that. Love that. You know, you don't hear that as often as, as we should. How big your heart is is how intelligent you are. I like that. So here's the message today, and I want to get into it. And I would love to know, you know, what comes up for you when you when you see these things. We got a message here. Shout out to the Curious community. They came in and uh, just followed them. And I, I saw on their page they have a lot of these laws. These are pretty cool. And we talk about the law here. We have the law of action. Now, the law of action, it talks about that it must be employed in order for us to manifest things on earth. We must engage in actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. So what are the actions that you are engaging in that are supporting your thoughts, dreams, emotions, in, and words? And do you feel like there is attraction without action? I feel like the, the two kind of go in hand in hand when it comes to bringing in or calling in the things that you want that to attract, you must take action. And in a matter of speaking, it would take an intelligent person to intuitively understand, maybe not on the intellectual level or, you know, the, all the level of the, the science behind it or the thinking behind it, but the doing behind it the being behind it, you know, kind of like Haruka was saying, being in the heart space, you know. Uh, Haruka says, you know, how accurately you can observe yourself. And can you observe the actions that you are taking when you are taking those actions and the law of action is in effect? Because they say it must be employed in order for us to truly manifest that there is no attraction without action. Here's something that I really love by one of my my idols, uh, Bruce Lee, legendary man right here. And he talks about, if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Have you ever spent a lot of time thinking? You know, you're being in thinking mode. You're in that critical mode, the left brain, the analytical mind, the logical mind. Now, there is a place for it. Of course, there's a place for it. And there's a place for everything. You know, there's a time for inhalation, exhalation. So, of course, there's a time to be, you know, to be analyzing and thinking. But also there's a time to be doing and creating that right brain, that playful mind, the childlike mind that just does, that just plays, that just releases this energy, these, those emotions, the energy in motion that isn't afraid to cry, isn't afraid to laugh, isn't suppressing things, isn't holding things in and just does, just bees. And wouldn't that be called a measure of intelligence? Someone who's not thinking, you know, <laughs> like Bruce Lee once said, you know, that movie, don't think, feel, you know, being able to feel. So I like what Haruka said about, you know, how big the heart is, how, how we are able to feel, how we are able to be. So if you think too much, or if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Being in what they call analysis paralysis, that there have been times where I've just been sitting and thinking. And if you've ever seen somebody thinking, 
If you really observe somebody, what do you observe them doing? Nothing. Right? If you see somebody thinking, or if somebody saw you thinking, they would really they would observe you doing doing nothing. So when we are in action, when we are in that activity, things are happening. Of course we can say thoughts, you know, thinking that things become things when we think. Of course, there's manifestation there, but there's also the attraction through action. So if you spend too much time in that thinking space, in that headspace of the left brain, what things are we accomplishing? What things are we truly getting done? You know, there's another quote here that I love, and it's actually by Napoleon Hill. It talks about action is the true measure of intelligence. You know, you think about, I, I, I would be one of these people, and I used to know people exactly like me when it comes to buying so many books Right? How many books do we have on the shelf? You know, it's not it's not self-help. At that point, it becomes shelf help, you know. When personal development can be a cheat code and it can get us there faster where we're trying to go, all these books that we might have on the shelf collecting dust, it's like a tool in the shed that you're not using. You know, it the book you don't read won't help you. Just like the thing you don't do, just like the actions you don't take. So therefore, I feel like there is no substitute when it comes to experience. Really doing something, you know, you can study about it, you can read about it, you can be taught about it, you can learn about it, but if you never do it, how does it translate, you know? How does that, that knowledge translate into action? You know, some people say knowledge is power. I've started to feel like applied knowledge is power. Not the things that we know how to do, but the things that we do, you know? So it's very interesting. I would love to hear, you know, what do you think about this? That Napoleon Hill here says action is the real measure of intelligence. That if you see somebody who might not have the biggest IQ, might not be as smart as everybody else, but they're taking action, they're executing, they're doing something. And through that doing, things are coming into being. Slowly but surely, things are manifesting. But to the person who thinks all day about doing something, what is really happening there? What is really going on? You think about the push-up analogy, you know, coming back to the person who perfectionism can be a form of procrastination. Think of a push-up, right? You want to do the perfect push-up. All right, I want to do the perfect push-up. Okay, you get ready? Okay, all right, all right I got this, I got this. Mm, okay, I heard about this, I learned about this. Push-up, push-up, okay, I got this. I'm going to do a push-up. Oh, no, what Wait, I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, maybe if I adjust my hands here. No, nah, that doesn't seem right. Well, maybe if I put my hands in a diamond shape, that might be a better push. No, nah, I don't know. What, what if I stand like this? Okay, what if I drop down like this? Okay, what if, what if I wear another beanie and then do a push-up? I want to get the perfect push-up, right? Now, think about another person who's not thinking about doing the push-up, but they just do 10 push-ups, and they just do 10. And then they just do 10 every day. At the end of the month, that 30 days, who do you feel is farther along? The person who's thinking about doing it or the one who does it? You know? So I had to ask myself that question all the times that I was being perfect, thinking like I had to be perfect. I had to be an expert before I did something. While there were so many times where I could have just done it. I could have spent all that mental energy, all that psychic energy, all the resources that I had available into just doing the thing that I was researching about. So we can actually do the thing while we're learning, you know. I love this. I love this. And one more we have right before we'll get back into the comment section. And thank you all for being here once again. Appreciate everyone for commenting and sharing and liking this video. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. We have Henry David Thoreau, who I love this quote, success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. You know, the person who's doing the push-ups, not the one who's studying, learning, and hypothesizing about the perfect push-up. It's just the one who does it, you know? So it's very interesting how we can get somewhere by going. We can accomplish something by doing. Like Aristotle, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act 
but it's a habit. It's something that you do continually. So where in your life, my friend, are you taking action? Where in your life are you going after it? You know, where in your life are you choosing to be instead of just being bombarded with all this information, which is at an all time high today. There's no lack of information, no scarcity when it comes to all the things that you could learn. You could take all the books that have ever been written and continue to be written and you'd be centuries old, you know, before you finished all the books that there are out there, you know? So I think the books in my collection already, I could be a hundred before I finish them, you know? So it's like less is more in that way. I'm learning how to unlearn and relearn and execute by doing. So thank you so much for this, you know, for, for listening to this message. I trust that you received something. If you did, uh, definitely jot it down in the comment section. Even if you're on the replay here, we appreciate you. Let's just come back through here. I like how, uh, oh, thank you for joining. Katrina, Jerome, I need more people like you. <laughs> Life's been tough. Why has life been tough for you, Katrina? What's been going on? What's been going on, my friend? Hey, you know, they say tough times don't last, but tough people do. You are a warrior. You are not a worrier. You are a warrior, my friend. You got this. Hey, Victoria, thanks for hopping in. She says, yes, I feel like the more I think about something, the more serious it becomes and zaps away the childlike exploration. Exactly. You know, what do you want to spend your psychic energy on? Where do you want your mental faculties and resources to go towards? Do you mainly want it to go towards thinking or towards doing, you know? And it's so, it's so interesting, the dynamic between that and how we can find balance. Like, yeah, plan, but not too much, you know? Think, but not all day, <laughs> you know? So... It's, it's interesting how we can find the balance in our lives and find that middle way where we can balance the two. Katrina said, oh, I could listen to you speak all day. You really uplift my mood. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, my friend. Much love, much love to you being. Pink said, the way you broke it down, hey, I'm glad that you received it. So yeah, you know, uh, once again, just for anybody who came in, we're gonna go through these real quick. First, we talked about how to measure intelligence with the law of action, you talk about this law that must be employed in order for us to manifest. You know, coming back to attraction, there is no attraction without action. To attract, we must take action. And when we engage in the actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words, things start to come into being. Another thing that we just briefly discussed was about if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. So realize that, you know, while you might be busy thinking, there are times where you could be actually doing and manifest the things that you are thinking about that much quicker, that much faster. And also, of course, Napoleon Hill, that action is the real measure of intelligence. Not to get too caught up in the mind space, but like Haruka said, get into that heart space. How big is your heart when it comes to being and doing and really emitting and radiating this frequency that will allow these things to come to you anyway? You never have to chase what you can attract in life. And there's, there's so many people in today's time that are chasing success, you know, running after success. But any time that you are chasing something, it insinuates that it is running from you. It's, it's, it's going away from you. So if you're always chasing, how will you ever catch up to it? You know, how will you ever catch what you are chasing? So success, like David, Henry David Thoreau says, it usually comes to the person who is too busy to be looking for it. You're not out there looking for success. You're attracting success by the things that you're doing, the actions you're taking. And I also do believe that success is something that you can bring to everything that you do. You know, And any time that you're going for it, any time that you're moving forward, you, know, you are already successful. Already. You know, let no one say that you haven't reached success yet. You are successful in the going. It's like a progressive realization of a worthy goal or a worthy ideal. So you are successful right now. You are successful today. Just being here, you know, consuming different information and your own exploration and your own elevation when it comes to your ascension in life. You are already successful, my friend. You're already on the path. So thank you so much for being. This has just been the message today. How to measure intelligence. 
you know, drop a nugget that you that you picked up from anyone here and just gratitude for you being definitely, you know, hit the like, hit the share, share this with someone that you feel needs to hear it, a friend or a family member. And uh, if you would like to know whenever we do these live sessions, definitely hit the bell notification next to my name and you'll always know when we go live. And also check out the Open Palm podcast for your daily inspiration. The link is in the bio there. Much love to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy this breath, this life, this energy, and take action, my friend. Take action. Remember, FAIL is an acronym for First Attempt in Learning. Failure is just another word for experiment. So fail forward, fail fast, fail often. Feel the fear and do it anyway, my friend. Much love. You take care and we'll catch you again very soon. <laughs> All right. Thank mm -hmm. you.